So many people think that Mexican cooking is complicated, but actually, a lot of these ingredients are readily available in your grocery store. Hola, I'm Yvette with MuyBuenoCookbook.com. And today I'm going to share some of the ingredients that you will often find in my pantry and in my spice cabinet. Are you ready to make a Mexican dish at a moment's notice? Let's get started with some of these ingredients. Pinto beans are the most common bean in the United States and Northern Mexico. It gets its name from its spotted color. Think Pinto horse. Once cooked, the beans can be eaten whole, mashed, or refried. My favorite is freshly made frijoles de la olla. Hominy is dried corn kernels that have been treated in a process called nixtamalization. This process transforms the dried corn kernels into edible soft kernels. It can be found in small and large cans in most grocery stores and Latin markets to make dishes such as pozole and menudo. Oregano is native to Mexico. Mexican oregano is a relative of lemon verbena and has citrus notes and a mild licorice flavor. It pairs exceptionally well with recipes using chile, such as menudo. Menudo tastes best topped with crushed oregano, releasing its aromatic oils. Azafran, the Spanish word for saffron, is a thistle-like herb with an orange-red color. It gives food an orange tinge. We use this spice in soups such as albondigas and caldo de pollo. This is a simple fruit and snack seasoning made with salt, chile peppers, and dehydrated lime juice. We also use it to line the rims of glasses for cocktails and to give fruits and veggies a little zest. This mango just went from delicious to unforgettable. Piloncillo is unrefined whole cane sugar made from the juice of sugar cane that is boiled and then hardened into cones. It tastes very similar to brown sugar with a molasses flavor and is used as a sweetener in Mexican desserts such as capirotada or drinks like champurado. Masa harina literally translates to dough flour. This ground cornmeal is used to thicken drinks such as champurado. When mixed with water, it's called masa, dough. Masa is used to make tamales, sopes, and corn tortillas. Anise seeds and star anise. This star-shaped dark brown pod contains a pea-sized seed in each segment. It tastes like licorice and it is used for flavoring desserts such as bizcochos and hot drinks like café de olla. The word canela means cinnamon in Spanish. Mexican canela is a crumbly soft bark and easily grinds into a powder. Freshly ground cinnamon makes the perfect garnish on desserts or warm drinks. Cloves. In Spanish, these are called clavos. These nail-like spikes are used whole or ground. We use them primarily in drinks and desserts to impart a warm, spicy taste. Mexican chocolate has a distinct flavor because it is combined with vanilla, sugar, cinnamon, and sometimes even chile powders. It comes in solid chocolate discs about the size of a hockey puck and is used to make mole, hot chocolate, and champurado, among other things. If you want to make agua de jamaica, then you need jamaica, a deep magenta-colored dried hibiscus flower. Agua de jamaica has a tart cranberry-like flavor that can be sweetened by adding sugar. Dulce de leche is a caramel sauce made with cow's milk that is cooked with sugar until thick and creamy. It's delicious drizzled over dessert, especially ice cream. Mm. And there you have a few Mexican staples. In upcoming videos, I'll be sharing lots more ingredients as well as some kitchen tools so that you can make some Mexican dishes in your cocina. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for any of these recipes that we showed, be sure to visit my blog and look for the Muy Bueno Cookbook. Adios!